We're now watching the wash daily. Today in news, Madison, Wisconsin City Council is behind a measure trying to get cannabis legalized for public smoking. It's going to legalize smoking in areas where it's not otherwise prohibited and it opens the doors for a whole bunch of cannabis tourism in Wisconsin. Now, folks have been looking for legal cannabis in Wisconsin. They've had legalized cannabis in someone's house for about 28 grams, but this is gonna extend that significantly. If it goes through, you'll be able to have an ounce in public and you'll have a half pound at home. So it's a step in the right direction for Wisconsin. Also in news, in South Carolina, some hemp farmers are suing an extractor. They're saying he was supposed to take their cannabis and he was supposed to extract CBD from it, make a usable oil. And they said he screwed up so bad these plants aren't even usable anymore. He ruined our crops. And they're trying to sue him for a whole bunch of money. Now, there's about five or six guys involved. Former Clemson University coach Danny Ford is one of the farmers. They grew the plants and they just gave the harvested material to this extractor. And he's being sued for, for negligence. They said that he did it in a negligent way. His extraction process, they said, was negligent. His method of dealing with the cannabis. It was just negligent. I looked at the report. It didn't really specify that he did anything particularly wrong. I'm really curious to see what happened there. But um, he uh, he made these guys in South Carolina, these hemp farmers, pretty upset. So he should probably watch out anyway, you know. They're probably trying to get him. You know, hemp is such a new thing. It's really hard to find a reputable source of any anything hemp related right now in the U.S. So people who are setting the groundwork and pioneering really have the work cut out for them. Also in news, the U.S. government supports a measure trying to remove cannabis from the strictest controlled substance list. Not the federal one, we're talking about the international trade one, which has cannabis as a Schedule 4 narcotic, which is the, the most dangerous and more, very similar to the classification for the U.S., which is the number one. But the number four international is a, a drug that has no medicinal purpose and is very dangerous and addictive. So the U.S. isn't changing their own law, but they're in full support of removing it from the international law, which may lead to federal legalization at some point. Thanks for watching The Wash Daily.